Hey guys, I'm Abhishek from Plugin India. All of us at Plugin India own only electric vehicles and create content for the EV community. In this new episode of Electric Car Watch, we will talk about India's most talked about EV startup, Ola Electric and the electric car plans. Mr. Bhavish Agarwal, the founder of Ola Electric, tweeted an image recently of the Ola Electric car concept and created quite a sensation on Twitter. When I first saw it, the car resembled both a giant computer mouse and a real mouse. Very cool looking. The Indian traditional big ice car companies are very cleverly avoiding launching small electric cars to protect their ice car business. If the Ola electric car becomes a reality, then the ice car companies will have to launch small electric cars. You never know. This tweet from Bhavish Agarwal must have accelerated the plans already. This is how disruption is caused and we love it that startups like Ola Electric have the financial means to take on the big ice car industry. Here are some of my observations on the Ola Electric car concept. The first thing you notice is how the entire panoramic roof goes all the way until the grill. Will we have a frunk? That seems doubtful. The handles of the car door are not visible in the design. Are we looking at a future where we won't have to use handlebars? Will cars open the doors themselves? Red colored LED tail lights are visible in the form of a horizontal strip behind. That does look like an interesting design. Ola text badging at the front and in the wheels as well. We asked our very own Atul on his thoughts on the car. Here's what he said. Very good coefficient of drag, so driving efficiency will be great. The old glass design is a heat trap, cabin cooling will be inefficient. One crack and the entire glass panel would need replacement. But overall, we think the car has a fantastic aerodynamic design and will be a head turner on Indian roads. Indian car makers are such dinosaurs in comparison. Let's hope we see this design in production. So what are Ola Electric doing to make this car a reality? They announced the setup of the Ola Future Foundry, a global center for advanced engineering and vehicle design. The center will be based in Coventry, the UK, which is a global hub for some of the best automotive design and engineering talent in the world. They've said that the UK and Indian teams will work on two-wheeler and four-wheeler vehicle design, advanced high-performance automotive engineering, digital and physical modeling, and more. It will also house talent that will focus on vehicle R&D and on new energy systems including cell technologies. Ola will invest over $100 million over the next five years into the -the state-of-the-art center and staff it with over 200 designers and automotive engineers. Here's what Mr. Agarwal said and I quote, At Ola, we are building the future of mobility and continuing to attract the best global talent across disciplines. Ola Future Foundry will enable us to tap into the fantastic automotive design and engineering talent in the UK to create the next generation of electric vehicles. Next, Mr. Wayne Burgess said, and I quote, We want to create a world-class design and R&D team with global sensibilities. We are setting up in Coventry a global epicenter of automotive and technology talent. Future Foundry will supplement and collaborate with our core team in Bangalore to deliver exciting new EVs across two-wheeler, four-wheeler and other form factors. Mr. Burgess was also the design director at Jaguar Land Rover who worked under the legendary designer Ian Cullum who was instrumental in the design of the Jaguar I-Pace which we covered last year. If that is the kind of experience the Ola team is getting then we can expect beautiful vehicle designs in the coming years. Creating a design is the easy part. In the real world of an electric car, design will need to offer fantastic interior space, superb handling characteristics, the reaction from the steering input should be instantaneous, the suspension should be able to handle Indian road conditions and you should be able to shift the torque continuously from the front to the rear. You should also think about having a low center of gravity and and stability control. That is, the ability to use one or more electric motors to shift torque and regain traction. The dashboard layout can be conventional or modern. Then you have the power electronics, the telematics units, high voltage systems and more. A lot of systems will need to be developed from scratch. We feel the team in Coventry, led by the ex-Jaguar guys, will be in charge of the development of the platform. Creation of the platform should be the first priority for the team. The high voltage platform should support large battery packs, faster charging rates, higher motor power and more. Once a platform design is ready, then there are more challenges like Indian vendor management, localization and certification. So as you can see, developing an electric car from scratch is no joke. 
even the Jaguar team took more than four years to come up with a production ready variant of the IPS. There are many considerations to be taken for the Ola Electric team, but we feel that the Ola Electric team will be production ready by 2025 and even then it may take a year or so to get ready for operations. The easier option for Ola Electric would have been to buy a struggling Swedish startup like Unity who've done a lot of groundwork on their car and then developed it to get it into production sooner. Something like what they did with e-Turgo with the electric scooter. But I guess Ola Electric wants to be a real player in the EV space and in order to be taken seriously, they will need to create a product from the ground up. Of course, the car announcement from Ola Electric has shaken many journalists from the pollution vehicle media. We saw condescending tweets and articles from auto journalists to mobile phone reviewers and also finance websites. The pollution vehicle media can cry all day long, but it's just a matter of time before they will have to accept the imminent rise and domination of the electric car. At Plugin India, we are not expecting anything soon from Ola Electric. Hiring experienced people from the global auto industry is positive news. Tapping into the talent pool in Coventry in the UK is also a definite plus. But there is a long way to go before we will see the old electric car on Indian roads. We've seen startups like Unity not produce even a single production electric car in more than seven years. Whatever happens, we wish the Ola Electric team the best and we hope to see updates in the coming years. If we do see them, we will of course share them with you. Thank you for watching. Do write in the comments below about your thoughts on the Ola Electric car and I will see you next week.